Here's a quick look at how to use CyberPi. First, connect to a power source, such as a power bank or computer. You can do this with a USB-C cable, which is included in the box. Press the button on the side of CyberPi. Now you can access the CyberOS, the operating system developed specifically for CyberPi. Select your language by using the joystick, then press B or the triangle button to confirm your selection. After selecting your language, you can access the main interface of CyberOS. Let's try out the program switching feature. CyberPy can store multiple programs and has eight preloaded example programs which you can choose. Push the joystick to select Switch Programs. For instance, Example Program can display the volume change of the environment in real time via a histogram. Press the button on the side of CyberPy to select another preloaded program. The example program draws a geometric figure. Now let's program CyberPy using the mBlock coding editor. mBlock is available on PC, iPad, smartphones, and web browsers. This video will use the website as an example. For the Chrome browser, you need to download and install mLink2 before you can use it. And make sure your computer is connected to the internet. Now, let's first try out block-based coding. Use the USB-C cable to connect your computer to CyberPy. Enter the address ide.mblock.cc in the Chrome browser to open the mBlock for web. Adding the CyberPy hardware, find tutorials, select example programs, connect CyberPy. Click the Upload button to store the program in CyberPy. You've now learned how to upload programs using mBlock 5. Now let's try to write a program ourselves. Select New to create a new project. From the Blocks area, drag the blocks you need. Some blocks require you to log into your mBlock account or switch to the correct mode before they can be used. Click Save at any time on the mBlock 5 toolbar to save the project to your mBlock 5 cloud space. Let's move on to Python programming. In block-based coding programming, switch to upload mode. Click here to see the translated micro Python code, allowing us to copy the code. Click here to go to the Python editor. The new Python editor supports uploading micro Python in upload mode and running Python 3 code in live mode. Select new work. Try upload mode first. Click connect to connect CyberPy. Paste in the code we just copied and upload. Successful implementation. Let's try the live mode. The live mode allows you to use Python 3 code in an interactive way to combine hardware and software for teaching. For example, open the example program Pandadash. In this example, we use the PyGame library and the CyberPy library to implement a simple CyberPy motion-controlled game project. You can also see more projects in the Example Programs tab or click on Tutorials to see CyberPy's complete Python API documentation. Thanks for watching.